In this lesson, we'll describe sheet dyes and the flow of plastic melt through the dye. The job of the sheet dye is to shape the hot putty-like plastic melt from the extruder into a flat rectangular web of uniform thickness to feed into the roll stack. Sheet dye designs vary depending on the required sheet thickness, the characteristics of the sheet being produced, the type of plastic used, and the allowable cost. Sheet dyes can be of various widths. Typically, sheet dyes are 2 to 6 feet wide, but they can be as wide as 10 feet. Typical sheet dyes operate at temperatures from about 360 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 182 to 316 degrees Celsius. And inlet pressures up to 5,000 PSI. Dyes must be very rigid to avoid warping or clamshelling from high internal pressure. Some plastics can cause wear and even be corrosive, so the dyes are usually made of chrome or nickel-plated tool steel. For certain applications, such as PVC, the dye may be made from stainless steel. Sheet dyes have an upper and lower half. In each half, channels are machined to create a flow passage inside when the halves are put together. This flow passage consists of a primary manifold, a preland, a secondary manifold, and the lip land. The entire manifold is polished and usually chrome plated for a smooth wear resistant surface. During assembly, the die halves are aligned with dowel pins and are held together with body bolts. High temperature gaskets seal the two ends of the die to prevent plastic leakage.